This is a presentation on the new features within AlphaCam 2015 R2. This presentation will deal with the enhancements we've made to nesting. We've added a new nesting special function which is called use name identifiers. I'm sure many of you that have been doing nesting are obviously used to seeing the parts on screen identified by a number but to make this a little bit more user friendly and obviously working with reports we've replaced it to actually allow the name of the part to be displayed on it which makes identification purposes and like I say reports passed down to the shop floor much more usable we've also added in a function in the part parameters when creating nest lists to ignore 3D toolpaths now what this will do is when the nesting engine is analyzing the boundary of the part to position it on the sheet it will ignore any 3D paths and just look at the 2D tool paths however when it nests it will still of course nest any 3D path that is part of the part collection so let's have a look at these features within AlphaCam 2015 R2 I have my uh, sheet on screen so let's go and create a new nest list so we can add the parts to it so I'm going to do true shape nesting and tool paths and enclosed geometries so I say ok to that I obviously browse to my folder where all my parts are I only want one of each so I'm going to select them all in one go so one of each I'm happy to rotate by 90 degrees and now we see we have the option for 3D paths as I said this is obviously just to make the system ignore the 3D tool paths for obviously putting the parts down on the sheet I don't have any 3D tool paths on these parts I'm nesting so I can leave this blank so we say OK to that I haven't got any more parts so I can click cancel so we obviously set our parameters as we require this is fine I'm happy with all that so I'll say OK so let's use our nest list to nest just confirm the values that we've set pick the sheet, say OK to that, no more sheets, accept the parameters and we'll obviously see our parts nested and with the indicating of each part by its number. So what we want to look at is the obviously the new function so let's undo that now, let's reconfigure our nest list and select the option to use name identifiers. Say OK to that and then let's nest again we can accept these values, pick the sheet I say OK to that and we'll now see we have our parts indicated via a name so if I now go and create the reports for that obviously accept the values that I've got set and we can now see that we go to our report engine and we obviously have the names of our parts indicated in the list and identified on the sheet